Hey, what's up everyone? How you all doing? Now, Devstream 107, of course, was last night. We got to see giant spider bots, another look at Korra, big katanas, new Zaws, some discussion on dark sectors and Kuva, and of course, how we will soon be able to equip arcanes from the mod selection screen for each build that we have. So this is per mod configuration, which means we won't need multiples of the same arcane sets for each new build which sounded like you're going to be able to use the same set of arcanes on different warframes, which is a very welcome change, especially if fashion frame is your thing. You're not going to be locked down to using the same Cyandana on every warframe that you run with. Now, the big topic of the dev stream for a lot of players, and for myself as well, was the first look at our next open world area on Venus, a planet that is apparently hot as all hell, and it's going through the process of terraforming thanks to the corpus taking over some old Orokin tech. Giant orbs are shot into the sky. These orbs will create massive glaciers that then crash down on the planet and leave rivers of coolant that get sucked into these weeping towers that then collect all of that coolant and cool the planet down. So it's not water flowing around the surface of Venus, it is this coolant. So maybe there's gonna be something similar to the magnetic procs that we see on the plains of Eidolon. Now, Venus isn't going to have a day and night cycle like what we have on Eidolon right now, but it is going to use glacier storms as a level gating system, and these storms will apparently literally drop glaciers on your head. So it was a hot planet, but now it's a snow covered planet or an ice covered planet. And this map apparently is also a lot larger than what we have on Eidolon now as well. Now, aside from the idea behind Venus and of course its ecosystem and how it became this snow covered planet, they did show a very short video of the Corpus Town Hub. And the biggest talking point in the community right now is that there looked to be a weapons kiosk or a weapons vendor inside that town hub. It had got a banner scrolling across the top of it that showed multiple weapons. So modular primary or secondary weapons or maybe a mixture of both. Now modular weapons of course are Zaw melee weapons for Eidolon so it's looking like we might have Zaw primaries or Zaw secondaries coming with Venus or like I said maybe a mix of both to be bought off this kiosk. Now, whether it's primary modular weapons or secondary, we don't know yet. Maybe it could be both. Well, I actually know because I seen what it was when I was in Canada for Devstream 100, but I'm not allowed to say it because of NDA. So, na 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 na. Now, we... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking challenge. <laughs> now we've seen Corpus Spider Tanks and of course Corpus Crawlers being shown off by Rebecca as well and they ranged in the sizes from small to what the fuck is that huge thing in the corner? So these are Corpus enemies and it was mentioned as well how programmers are currently working to try and make the big guy in the corner walk across the terrain. So probably all of these are going to come along with Venus as well. I couldn't imagine one of these big huge guys inside one of our Corpus tile sets at the minute. But we'll see hopefully soon enough. Now, endless Kuva missions are on the way, as well as hopefully Kuva being added into the Kuva Fortress tile set, which is going to make a lot of players really happy, especially the Riven Rollers, the guys who have the addiction of rolling Rivens non stop to try and get the perfect stats. Not having Kuva on the Kuva Fortress made no sense to a lot of players, myself included, but this for me is at least a really welcome change. Endless Kuva missions could be a lot of fun and at times maybe challenging as well, but only if you're into Rivens. If you hate Rivens, which I know a lot of players do, then this news means nothing to you whatsoever. So we'll quickly move on to the discussion about Dark Sectors. Now in a previous dev stream they mentioned the return of Dark Sectors and how they were replacing the idea of the old Dark Sector mission types with this new never ending scaling dungeon type mission that was now time based. We're now being told that this actually won't happen, it won't be Dark Sectors and it has evolved into its very own game mode. A time attack challenge mode for veterans to test themselves out with or to try and speed run through. What the rewards are for doing all of this we still don't know if there are in fact any or if it's only going to be leaderboard based, which means Dark Sectors I guess are on hold again. Now here's my take on this game mode and it's something that I mentioned in my video that covered this topic a few weeks ago. It could be really fun and it could be really challenging or it could be another tacked on game mode that no one plays after a month. This totally depends on what rewards they add into it. If it is just in fact leaderboard based and about getting your name up there for EP measuring, then it could be dead within a month, like Lunaru or Flappy Zephyr or Wormius. Rewards that make this never ending dungeon game mode worthwhile, rewards that make us actually want to play it, because if it's not there, then we're not going to. 
During the dev stream, we got another look at Octavia's Deluxe skin, which I still am not really a fan of. Maybe it'll grow on me, I don't know. We got a look at two new up-and-coming Zaws, a side Zaw and, of course, a Nakana Zaw as well. We got another look at the two-handed Katana Swords, the two-handed Weeb Sticks, no Dachis or Odachis. I don't really care what they're called. They look awesome. So that's basically all of DevStream 107. The link to the whole broadcast, if you want to jump over onto Play Warframe's YouTube channel and check it out, is in this video's description. So let me know in the comment section what shown during this dev stream had you excited or not or what you liked the look of or not. Do me a huge favour and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Warframe and as always, thanks for watching guys.